Hey everyone, as usual, I am back with another episode, and let's get this started. you have rescued to pass unnoticed into guarded areas. That's the way in. Don't try to run, old man. There's nowhere to go. Help! I need help! Please! Anyone! What was that you called us before, eh? Heathen? What was that you called us before, eh? Heathen? Help! I need help! Please! Anyone! Don't try to run, old man. Why would he do that? I don't understand what he's trying to accomplish. Kevin, what is he doing? This city is halfway destroyed. Yell all you want. It changes nothing. He's gonna hurt himself. And when he does, don't try to run, old man. There's nowhere to go. Please, sir, have any money? No, you don't understand how to force. I need the money. Such a strange man. Damn fool must be out. <laughs> Not allowed to Don't be try here. To run, Leave. Man. There's nowhere to go. Don't hurt me, please. <laughs> Damn, that was savage. Don't try to run, old man. There's nowhere to go. Ah, Altair. 
A little bird told me you'd be paying a visit. Al-Mu'allam has ordered the execution of Gagné de Naplus, and so here I am. What can you tell me about him? He is the Grand Master of the Knights Hospital, and surely keeps his quarters in their district. Beyond that, I cannot say. I suggest you search the city. See what you can learn from the people. Tell me where they gather and I'll see what I can find. The public gardens north of here, or what's left of them, are as good a place as any to begin. There is an abandoned market northwest as well that merits watching. And Maria of Jehoshaphat's church to the west remains a popular meeting place. These three locations should be sufficient for your needs. I appreciate the information, Rafiq. It will be put to good use. See that it is. Archer who guards the eastern wing. Poor bastard's brother caught an arrow in the throat. Doubt he'll last the night. How can he continue to work knowing what's to come? He visits his brother often, so I cover for him when I can. You aren't there now? No. I've family business of my own to attend to. Then he'd best hope the doctor doesn't learn of his desertion. He won't. Long as you stay silent. Don't worry. Your secret's safe with me. So what you got there? Rubbish. The man had no coin to speak of. Just some damn tube. All I found was a bit of paper with these nonsense scratchings. Them's not nonsense, but words and letters. Why is a man putting words and letters in a tube? It's a waste of tube, if you ask me. Must be important. Give it here, and I'll have a look. Like you helped last time. I ain't letting you steal this. Well, ain't you clever. Have fun with it, then.
Altair? How fares your search for Garnier? I know when and how to strike. Share your knowledge with me, then. He lives and works within the Order's hospital, northwest of here. Rumors speak of atrocities committed within its walls. It seems the good doctor enjoys experimenting on innocent citizens. Most of them kidnapped and brought here from Jerusalem. Clever. By stealing his subjects from another city, he avoids arousing too much suspicion here. But back to the matter at hand. What is your plan? Gagne keeps mainly to his quarters inside the hospital, though he leaves occasionally to inspect his patients. It's when he makes his rounds that I will strike. It's clear you've given this some thought. I give you leave to go. Remove this stain from Akka, Altair. Perhaps it will help cleanse your own. Rest here until you're ready to begin your mission. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Okay, let's kill this guy as well. Ouch, that's gonna hurt. Yep, this is the entrance. But how do I get down? Okay, here it goes. Let's drop down and see. Ha! Ah, I'm in. <laughs> no, help! Help me! Help me! Please! You must help me! My child, I asked you to retrieve the patient, not to kill him. There, there. Everything will be all right. No! Give me no. your hand. Don't touch me! Not again! Cast out this fear, else I cannot help you. Help me? Like you helped the others? You took their souls! I saw. I saw! But not mine. No! You'll not have mine! 
Take hold of yourself. Do you think this gives me pleasure? Do you think I want to hurt you? But you leave me no choice. Every kind word matched by the back of his hand. All lies and deception. He won't be content until all bow before him. You should not have done that. Return him to his squatters. I'll be along once I've tended to the You other. can't keep me here. I'll escape again. No, you won't. Break his legs, both of them. So Have you people nothing better to do? Okay, let's kill that bastard. I trust today is better. What do you want? Only to help you. No, you want to hurt me. It's all you've done since you brought me here. Oh, my child. The very fact that mm, we're having this conversation thing. shows that we've made progress. Or do you forget the way you once were? I can't remember before all of life. Oh, it'll come back in time. You'll see. Oh yeah, there he is. Let go your burden. Ah, oh, I'll rest now, yes. The endless dream calls to me. But before I close my eyes, I must know what will become of my children. You mean the people made to suffer your cruel experiments? They'll be free now to return to their homes. Homes? What homes? The sewers? The portals? The prisons that we dragged them from? You took these people against their will. Yes. What little will there was for them to have. Are you really so naive? Do you appease a kind child simply because he wails? But I want to play with fire, father. What would you say? As you wish. Ah, but then you'd answer for his burn. These are not children, but men and women full-grown. In body, perhaps, but not in mind. Which is the very damage I sought to repair. I admit, without the peace of Eden, which you stole from us, my progress was slowed. But there are herbs, mixtures, and extracts. My guards are proof of this. They were madmen before I found and freed them from the prisons of their own minds. <sighs> and with my death, madmen they will be again. You truly believe you were helping them? It's not what I believe. It's what I know. All right, it's time to run. <laughs>
Okay, I think I lost them. News, Altair. Gagne is dead. Then you should return to Masayaf with news of your victory. There is something else. Speak it then, or would you have me read your mind? What do you think he wanted from these people? That he would keep them an experiment on them as he did? Yours is not to ask, but act, Altair. It doesn't matter what he did or why. Only that he's dead. But Gagne seemed to believe he was helping these people. Is that what you saw? No. What I saw was not a place of healing, but of pain. Then why are we having this conversation? I... I don't know. Forget I spoke of it. I already have. Fast forward in memory to a more recent one. Problem now. I'm getting weird temperature readings. I think the animus is overheating. Christ, it's always something. How long? Too soon to tell. These delays are unacceptable, Miss Stillman. I want progress reports every hour. It's gonna be a while, Desmond. Why don't you go lie down or something? Get some rest. What the hell? Someone's been in here. Looks like some kind of access code. and shine. We've got quite a day ahead of us. You're in a good mood this morning. Miss Stillman has made some modifications to the Animus. You should be able to remain inside even longer now. And help you with your treasure hunt. This is serious business, Mr. Miles. I don't think you fully appreciate the work that Abstergo does. Maybe because I don't actually know what you people do. We change the world. Every day, in a hundred different ways. Did you know that nearly every single breakthrough of the past millennia, be it medical, mechanical, or philosophical, has come from Abstergo or its predecessors? That's a bold claim, Doc. Think you might be exaggerating a bit? Not in the slightest. Oh, we certainly don't take the credit. That would arouse far too much suspicion. We choose our beneficiaries with great care. Why? Isn't it obvious? It means we're in control. But how? What makes you guys so special, so smart, that you happen to invent all these things while us mere mortals stumble around like idiots? To be fair, we don't invent them. We find them. Find them? They're gifts, Mr. Miles. From those who came before. We'll have to continue this discussion later. Time's wasting. Morning, Desmond. Yeah. Hi. Select 
Perfecting the hidden blade during fight will allow you to quickly dispatch an enemy you've thrown to the ground. Come in, Altair. You've done well. Three of the nine lay dead, and for this you have my thanks. But do not think to rest upon your laurels. Your work has just begun. I am yours to command, Master. King Richard, emboldened by his victory at Arca, prepares to move south towards Jerusalem. Salahadin is surely aware of this, and so he gathers his men before the broken citadel of Arsuf. Would you have me kill them both, then? End their war before it begins in earnest? No. To do so would scatter their forces and subject the realm to the bloodlust of 10,000 aimless warriors. It would be many days before they meet, and while they march, they do not fight. You must concern yourself with a more immediate threat. The men who pretend to govern in their absence. Give me names and I'll give you blood. So I will. Abun Nukud, the wealthiest man in Damas. Majduddin, regent of Jerusalem. William of Montferrat, liege lord of Akka. What are their crimes? Greed, arrogance, the slaughter of innocents. Walk amongst the people of their cities. You'll learn the secrets of their sins. Do not doubt that these men are obstacles to the peace we seek. Then they will die. Another of your items is restored. Take it. See that it is put to good use. Return to me as each man falls, that we might better understand their intentions. And Altair, take care. Your recent work has likely attracted the attention of the city guard. They'll be more suspicious than they've been in the past. Okay guys, that's it for today and uh, make sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys with another episode.